Hello doll friends, it's Rachel in the dolly cam. I am standing here at the UFDC convention with two amazing, amazing doll artists. We have Sarah Maldonado and Susan Fosnott. They have two totally different kinds of original art dolls and they are both Odaka doll artists. They are incredible. We have been next to them all week and we want to take you inside their booth to show you their original art. So we're gonna start with Sarah. Sarah, your your booth is Miss Molly O, and you have some incredible art dolls that are women. Can you please tell us about them? Yes, these are all my original ladies. They're made of porcelain. They are modern dolls, but they have interesting costumes, sometimes period costumes. Most of them that I have with me today are not in period costumes, but are sort of fanciful or they depict a particular character. Do you ever get told that your dolls are look like you? Yes, and my reply is how nice because they don't have wrinkles. <laughs> yes, well your dolls are beautiful and so are you, And but they do remind me of you. They are wonderful, they are all original sculpts. Most of these are all one of a kind. The only one that isn't are these two ladies over here because you use the same mold but they are different in their um, makeup and in their uh, dressing and their wigs. So we're going to get in close so you guys can see. Her, her business is Miss Molly O and she is an Odaka artist and that is the original Doll Artist Council of America. They had their show earlier this week. But we absolutely love showing you in the Dolly Cam original doll art. A lot of it gets listed on Ruby Lane, and it is, it is just, it, it is our favorite kind of art form. Who was the, who was inspired by the Red Queen? The Red Queen was inspired by the 2010 Johnny Depp movie, Alice in Wonderland. The, the original Red Queen character was played by Helena Bonham Carter, and um, she was quite a, a lady quite an interesting not so nice lady well we I love to hate a villain so you know it's wonderful villains are our favorite characters for a reason she is fantastic I love her hair yes her hair is wool most of the wigs I use are made of mohair but hers is curly wool so she gets that little heart-shaped hairdo the dolls, um, yeah, she's... Beverly Store, oh. can you please come So we're here live, so there's a, there's an announcement Beverly going on. Store. But please the dolls, doll they kind of speak to you. How long does it take a doll to come to fruition, to breathe, so to speak? <laughs> well, with porcelain, it takes a little bit longer than some other media because I need to do a sculpt. I sculpt an earth clay, and then I make a plaster mold so that I can cast the porcelain slip. Once it's cast, it has to uh, dry for a bit and then it needs to be cleaned. You know, there's marks for seams and that, all of that that have to be removed. Then it needs to be fired to bisque, vitrified, so it's glass-like. And then it's painted and each layer of paint requires an additional firing. So sometimes it might, and then of course we assemble and costume, so it might take up to two and a half to three months to finish the doll. Some of it is wait time. And of course, it depends on whether or not I get to work eight hours a day. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just have to let them let them breathe and kind of uh, come into their own. The dolls will the dolls will present themselves. So you are Miss Molly O, and um, you're a PhD. Look at that. Look at such great art. And so you have been sharing your booth with the wonderful Susan Fosnott. Are you two friends? We are. We are. Yes. How long have you two known each other? A couple years. A couple years, yeah. So it's it's Hi. great to be able to share a booth with one of your doll friends, mainly because you guys have a uh, company and so that you can kind of trade off here and there. Yes, it works well. Yeah, it does work well. So we just interviewed you not too long ago when yes. we were in Michigan at the Dollology right. event, which was incredible. People went absolutely crazy bananas over your work, Susan. A lot of it has been um, listed on Ruby Lane. You did the souvenir uh, art uh, doll for the convention, was it four years ago? 
or so? Uh, years 19, ago? Uh, 2015. Yeah, 2015. So only a couple years ago. So people in the dolly cam went crazy bananas over your spoon dolls. So let's show the spoon dolls again so people can see that. Now these, these dolls, look at that. They are made on spoons. Right. They are each hand painted, one of a kind spoons. Ice cream spoons, the kind um, that they'd quit making when I you was get a kid. You get it like yo yogurt land. Right, right, right. Well, when I was a kid, I remember seeing them and they'd already quit making them. And I thought, oh, this would make such a beautiful doll. And I've wanted them ever since. And then recently I discovered they're reissuing them and I had to do it. So we start out with a spoon with a hand painted face. And then you make the body. Very simple, very simple, but nice. And then see her little hat goes oh, on there and suddenly she has a head. She has some depth and she and I love the, the shape of the spoon. You can really it get gives that it a nice a nice mm -hmm. rounded face and then finally dressed. Your spoon dolls have just taken off. Were you surprised by their popularity? No. No. <laughs> I, I, I really, I thought they would be wonderful. I worked very hard to make them as wonderful as I could. And I think people are seeing it. And people are seeing it and enjoying it. We're going to take a look at some of your other wonderful dolls here. The light is a little, little, there we go. We can see. These are, what are some of your new creations that we haven't seen in the dolly cam that we have special for UFDC this year. See, she's new. I sold one of them. Um, she's new. I'm told she has a barely suppressed rage going. A barely suppressed rage. That's how we look when somebody buys the doll that we've been eyeing and we came back for and then somebody's in the booth buying it. Or That's the look. She's fantastic. Susan Fosnott does wonderful cloth painting. She draws a lot of her inspiration from historical dolls and paintings and oh look at this these are fun buttons little kins oh my gosh these are pins love them you can find her you can find her dolls on susanfosnutdolls.com a lot of them do get on ruby lane in the artist lane So great, artist and doll maker. Two very talented artists and doll makers in the same booth. You two get together. Where, where can we see you two next? Um, next? next, I don't know. We I know, it's know hard yet. to think of what's coming up next because this, this was our big week. Yes. yes. Well, we hope to see you two very soon. Congratulations on your success and thank you for sharing it with us. Thank you so much, thank Rachel. You. You're welcome, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.